guys welcome back to the channel this is studio i'm ray check it out guys um i got another video series i'm gonna be doing all right this is pretty much an introduction on the new project i'm taking on so stay with me hit that subscribe button hit that notification button be up to date on this series in light of what's going on today along with this coronavirus and everybody's being home you start to get to thinking on your your system on how you're able to survive and do certain things you pretty much gonna have to start thinking well in my mind I have to start thinking like pretty much like a city pepper things should happen how would I get do this um, I started thinking about my information into my house right now I cut it the cord and I'm pretty much off the internet all right everything's Wi-Fi in my house and I get a lot of my information through Wi-Fi in light of this couple of weeks that everyone's staying home, it got me in thinking that if this system goes down, how am, I, how am I gonna get information in my household to let me know what's going on? And the only way you're gonna be able to do that if you have an antenna, all right? If I lose signal or antenna, I mean, if I lose internet service, I'm screwed, all right? I have no information coming in the house and letting me know what's going on out there in the world. So I decided to put an antenna on my roof. Now, I was gonna do this anyway, but in light of what's been going on, I'm accelerating that process of getting this done. And again, you, you always should have some type of redundant system. We have our landline and we have our cell phone. So if, if one goes down, we have the other. In my communication, as far as getting communication in the house, if I don't have internet, then I can't, my TV doesn't work. I don't get internet service. I don't get news service. All right. I do have a radio, so that's a form of communication. I'll get that, and that that is a, a form of communication, find out what's going on. But I wanted something more visual, and only to do that, I need to put a tender on my roof. So I end up reaching out to Channel Masters and end up getting a couple of items that is going to assist me. I am a Sling subscriber and again this is not a promotion video for any particular service. This is what I have in my household. So I end up picking up the Sling Air TV and along with a Air TV, I guess uh, what they call this, Mini. Alright so I'm going to be hooking up these systems to my house along with the Channel Master and Tenor. Um, I end up getting a channel master for my chimney mask mount and along with a few other accessories that make this system work. All right, now this is the first time I'm putting up an antenna in ages. All right, everything's through the wire and we never really thought about it. But in light of me cutting the cord and now this whole thing with the coronavirus and getting information and the internet, I needed a redundant system. And plus, again, it gives me more option that I'm not so reliant on cable. Or, or the internet, I still could get information if something should go wrong, all right? So I'm gonna be doing that, I'm gonna be hooking that up. I picked up my mask from Home Depot or a fence post that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna get it up on my roof. So stay with me, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been, if this is your first time at the channel, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and we're gonna get into this, all right? It's gonna be a learning. Um, experience. I'm going to learn from it. You're going to learn from it, but we're going to get through it together. All right. Again, this is Studio Ray. I'm, this is Studio Ray. I'm Ray. And thank you for the joining me. And let's get into the video. And just to let you know, guys, down in the description, I'm going to put down all the parts that I have. So if you considering on taking on this project at your own house, you have a pretty much a shopping list, which you can get. Uh, some of those links may be Home Depot or Amazon affiliate links. If you click on it and you purchase it, it does support the channel, and I do really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, be safe out there. Take care of your family. Let's get into this video, and I hope it can help you out. All right, let's go. All right, guys, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tackle What you're going to need, all right, you're going to need some type of chimney mount. I ended up picking up this one um, for my chimney. All right, it's galvanized, and this should do the trick. All right, so this is going to be the first thing. It gives you directions in the back how to do it. You're going to need a mask, they call it, or a tenant post. Now, this is just simply a, um, this is just a galvanized post I picked up from Home Depot. It's about, I believe, maybe four feet, five feet. So you're going to need something like this. You don't have to get anything special chimney. All it is is just galvanized pipe. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this and this up on the chimney first before I do anything. Once this get up on the ch chimney, then we'll go to the next step on actually mounting the antenna. So that's where most of the work is gonna start. It's just getting this up and this up along with the antenna. Then we'll go back and try to and show you how I'm running the cables. All right, and to get this thing all hooked up. All right, all right, guys. Before I get up on the roof, I'm gonna show you what I'm dealing with. I ended up picking up this little two bag, electrical two bag. It has wire cutters, screwdrivers, um, voltmeter, everything that I use when I do my electrical in the house or I'm running wires. This is the two um, rig I grab. All right, so I'll put a link below on this particular one. All right, I picked this up from, I believe, Home Depot. Ideal. If you're a DIY, you should have some type of rig that's all together. When you need to do certain jobs, just grab the rig and you're done. You're not hunting for twos. So I highly recommend picking up something like and not that expensive. So I just want to bring that to your attention. So this is the rig I have. So I have all my twos when I get up on the roof. All right. Okay, guys. Um, as you can see, you're going to have to measure from the tip to here. Say about four inches. The action you to do. All right. You're only going to do one side at a time. All right. Before you get... So slip on one of your nuts here. You're going to take one of these uh, screws and you're going to go in here. And install this like that. And you're going to fold it at the four inch mark. All right. It's going to look something like that. All right. And then you're going to take this locking mechanism pretty much go over it like that all right so and once you got it like that what you're gonna do you're gonna fold this part here up on itself to go back this direction like that okay Simply going to take a screwdriver or a pair of pliers or needle nose or whatever you have. In my case, I'm going to take my little needle nose and you're going to push down on this so it goes around that, wraps around that little piece right here. Actually, what I'll do is going to go something like this. Folding it, folding it on it on itself, and then you're gonna take this part, and fold it, clamp it down on itself. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. I hope this makes sense to you guys. See. So I don't, you're only gonna do it on the two straps on one end first. Okay, so you do one strap and just leave it to the side. Okay, I'm doing my second strap. Again, make my four inch mark. I'm gonna slip throw the brace on first. Then you take one of these here, put it on, take it to the four inch mark and bend it over. All right, so this is bent over, just slide this piece over this. Like that. Okay. Fold it back even more just to lock it in even more if you want to do it that way. All right. Okay. I just, just making it just nice and sturdy. All right. I hope that you can see that, guys. Makes sense to you. All right. Again, you're only doing it for the two straps. That's it. 
So we're gonna set that to the side. Now I'm gonna follow up by adding the brackets for the mask. Now, they don't give you washers, so it's probably not needed, but I'm sure you guys have a lot of bunch of washers that you collected through over the years um, in a box or someplace. Me, I have a, a box with all my loose screws, extra screws, so I went and found some washers. I'm gonna put on it. It doesn't come with it, but I prefer to have washers with mine. Again, so it makes it easier to tighten it up. So all you're gonna do is just put this part on the one of the screws before you get up on the roof so you don't have to worry about doing it. It's gonna look something like that, okay? All right, guys, uh, what I'm, also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach this whole thing together right now, just one end. So when I get up on the roof, I'm not fighting with it. Okay. And this is how it looks. All right. So this is going to be one end. It's going to be the top or bottom, wherever. So I'm going to do other ones. So one is top, one is bottom. All right, guys. I just want to show to you how I'm setting it up on my chimney. As my chimney comes up from down there all the way up. Uh, I'm setting up my bracket this way so I have so the bottom will rest on the roof and give me some better support okay when you come around you got to make sure that you're locking just on the brick not the mortar all right and also guys um, I have to do a little voice over here because it was really too windy on that roof so I'm trying to explain guys when you do this just make sure you cut the strap at a reasonable distance you're not going to be using all of it so cut you know, a good piece of it so you can work with it all right and make sure the strap is on the brick and not the mortar that's pretty much all the point i was trying to make all right so okay hey guys i want to just show you make sure when you put this strap in these this here is facing that way on this side because you're going to have to wrap this remember when we first did it come through and have to wrap this one and then clamp it down all right I had it reversed when initially when I did it so I just had to take it off and redo it so just make sure when you're doing it to have that set up that way so now I got everything cut the length what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna wrap it around lock it down and start tightening it in to lock the bottom piece and then I'll do the top all right guys I got the bracket for the mask up again make sure when you tighten these up try to tighten it up with as much um, screw exposed all right try to get as tight as possible and when you put this little locking mechanism on here get it close to this part as possible all right because I find when you start tightening this this will start to creep up toward this direction so just get it close to it when you're starting to tighten it or start pinching it bringing it in more closer all right don't cut it too short here give it give it a little time so when you bring this in or tighten it up it plays and it it, it just brings everything closer together like down here i didn't tighten it as tight it's it's secure but see i don't have much screw left when tightening i did a much better job up, up here and getting that the strap um, tightened before or as close as possible before I tighten the screw. Alright, so that's my tip to it, but this is how it's gonna look. Alright, my mask gonna set up right here on this end. Um bracing against the roof. And that's that guys. Alright, so it's not that difficult to do. Actually, it's pretty easy to do once you get down, understand the concept. All right, so let me uh, bring the mask up and get this secured now. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm done. All right, so this is uh, part one of the series on installing a antenna on your roof. As you can see, I got the mask up. And again, the mask is just a galvanized pipe or 
from a, from fencing that you can buy so you don't have to spend a lot of money on it and also uh, the mass strap for the chimney very easy to do take your time again you're working at heights so just take your time and getting it done but it's definitely a doable project guys thank you for joining me please like subscribe this is part one stand by for part two me installing my omni antenna and then after that then we're gonna connect it to the house all right guys peace and love see you later peace